On August 8, 2023, Massachusetts Governor Maura Healey declared a state of emergency amid an influx of migrant families seeking shelter. The declaration came as the number of migrants in state shelters had reached an all-time high of nearly 5,600 families, or more than 20,000 people. This represents an 80% increase from the number of migrant families in state shelters a year ago. Healy said the state is struggling to provide adequate shelter and services to the growing number of migrants, and she called on the federal government for help. She specifically requested expedited work authorizations for migrants so that they can more quickly find jobs and support themselves. The influx of migrants to Massachusetts is part of a larger trend of increased immigration to the United States. The number of migrants apprehended at the U.S.-Mexico border has reached a record high in recent months, and many of those migrants are seeking asylum in the United States. The influx of migrants to Massachusetts is putting a strain on the state's resources, and it is unclear how long the state will be able to sustain the current level of immigration. Healy's declaration of a state of emergency is a sign that the state is reaching a breaking point. Here are some additional details about the state of emergency. The declaration allows the state to request more federal funding and resources to provide temporary housing, food, and other support to migrants. The declaration also allows the state to divert resources to cities and towns to support an estimated 20,000 individuals being cared for by the state and nonprofit groups. Healy said the state is working with the federal government to expedite work authorizations for migrants so that they can more quickly find jobs and support themselves. Healy said the state is also working to expand access to affordable housing for migrants. The state of emergency is a significant development, and it remains to be seen how it will play out in the coming months and years. Please subscribe, share your thoughts and opinions, and join the conversation. Thank you.